everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I will be exploring the screen reader that comes built into Windows 10 called Narrator. Windows 10, like most other versions of Windows, has a suite of built-in tools that, that enable people with a wide range of disabilities to make their PC or laptop easier to see, to hear and to use. In Windows 8 and Windows 10 these tools are controlled centrally via the Ease of Access Centre. I have created very detailed videos about the Ease of Access Centre in Windows 8 and Windows 10 and I will leave links to those videos below this. I have also created a separate video about the magnification tool that's built into Windows 10. It is called Magnifier and I will leave a link to that video as well. Now a screen reader is a voice that informs you what is happening on screen. It is predominantly used by people who have a visual impairment. To open the screen reader, which is called Narrator, you press the Windows key and the Enter key. Desktop pane. You will hear a voice and I think you can hear it as well as me. The voice works together with a variety of shortcut keys in order to help you control your computer and know what is going on. You can access a list a list of the shortcut keys by pressing the caps lock key and the F1 key together when you have narrator on. Caps lock search all commands window search box edit there are about 70 shortcut keys that help you to control your computer and have a voice to guide you. And you can see that I've got some of the shortcut keys on the screen now. The shortcut keys cover three main areas, basic commands, navigation commands and text and table commands. Because the complete list is so long, you might want to display only one set of commands at a time. This is done through using the scoping drop down menu at the bottom of this box. You can choose whether to display the basic commands selected basic commands to just the selected navigation or navigation commands search navigation or just search the, text and table just the text search list text and table commands I think by displaying them separately it makes things more more manageable. Select search stop reading control. Basic commands are shortcut keys that allow you to control the voice. For instance, to stop narrator reading, just press the control key. And there, you've got it highlighted in blue on your screen. To increase the speaking rate of narrator, we press the caps lock key and the plus key. Se se select, select, selected, increase. And you can eleven. And the command is highlighted in blue on your screen. To increase the volume of narrator, press the caps lock key and the page up key. Select. Selected. Increase voice. 9. And you can see that command highlighted in blue on your screen. Navigation commands. Sir. Do primary action. Are shortcut keys that enable a user to move the focus of narrator around the screen. For instance, to move to the next item, we press the caps lock and the right arrow key. Select selected two, and that is highlighted in blue on your screen. To move to a linked item, we press the caps lock key and the insert key. Sorry about the wait, but there it is. So to move to a linked item, press the caps lock key and the insert key, and you can see that command highlighted in blue on your screen. Text and table commands are shortcut keys that enable you to use narrator to read text and tables. 
scope, search text and table commands with search list. For instance, to read a document, we press the caps lock key and the H key, and you can see that highlighted in blue on your screen. There we go. To read a page, we press the caps lock key and the control key and the U key. And you can see that highlighted on your page. To read the current row in a column, we press the caps lock key and the F8 key. And there you've got it on the screen. To exit narrator, we press the caps lock key and the escape key. Caps lock, exiting narrator. And that's my quick tour of Windows Narrator. As screen readers go, the one which is built into Windows is pretty limited and poor. It compares, compares very badly to the screen reader that is built into Apple Macs. Other, better screen readers are available. Some are free to download and some are very sophisticated and cost lots of money. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to leave a comment, ask me a question or join in with the discussion, then please do so below.